Victoria McLean and welcome back to my channel. Now today is me saying Happy New Year to you all and I hope you had a wonderfully magical Christmas and I'm so sorry that I have been off of YouTube for so long. My full apologies. However, I do have my reasons. I will explain in a minute. However, today is me showing you all my wonderful Christmas items things that I have bought in the sale, things that I have been wonderfully given by people, and things I've just generally bought because I really wanted them. And there are also one or two items that I've been very disappointed with. So stay tuned for them because I'm very cross indeed. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? Let's get started. So this was for you guys, okay? I did this beautiful Christmas tree with some wonderful Harry Potter Christmas decorations. You can see my birdie pots, every flavor beans down there. You can see my sorting hat on top of there. Um, I did this all for you because I planned to do huge Christmas videos over the last four weeks. However, things have got in the way. Unfortunately, I am one of the people that suffer from anxiety and depression like so many people out there. Um, being my fourth Christmas without my mum. I won't go into too much detail because I'm all about happy, happy, happy. Um, but I wanted to kind of just give you a little catch up and let you explain why I've been off for so long. Um, anxiety and depression is something that affects, I think it's one in three of us. And unfortunately it can be quite devastating to the individual who's going through and also the people that they're with, their loved ones really suffer. Unfortunately, one of those times that it brings out that um, that experience with us, that it brings the bad memories back, possibly the bad situations, or the fact that you're just going through something where you're facing a Christmas without a loved one again, which was my situation. It's the fourth Christmas I've gone through without my mum, who, when it came to my childhood, my Christmases were always so big and so beautiful because my mum always made them so special. Um, I, as you know, for those of you who don't um, know, I had a, a rough childhood, like many people, um, but my mum always tried at Christmas time to make Christmas a very magical time for us. And she always did such a wonderful job. This year, I did suffer a lot. Just after uh, December changed, I became very down in myself. For those of you who understand what that's like, um, I don't need to explain it, obviously, but for those of you who don't understand, it's something that you can't, people can't help, well, they can help, but they can't bring you out of it. It's not something where you can say, well, cheer up, it'll be over soon, or it'll be okay, you know? It's, it's something that you need to kind of get through yourself, but having the support of loved ones who will just, just in general tell you that they're there, for you to maybe to listen, for you to talk, which is a very important thing to do for those of you who suffer from anxiety and depression. Talking is a huge part of what has got me through this. So thank you. Another part of it is you guys. The amount of times I have had messages or comments from you lot saying that you loved the videos or you loved my photo or anything like that or a little kind of comment on my Facebook Harry Potter UK page. Um, find me on Instagram as well, official Victoria McLean. You guys have really helped me through it and I'm for that I am so grateful, thank you. Uh, also, um, I will be covering, I will be putting it up on my YouTube channel soon is I actually went to Wales Comic Con, the Telford Takeover. Um, and I bumped into so many of you who were really surprised to see me there and wanted selfies and just to talk. Things like that really kind of help you put things into perspective in your own mind. And even though it's very difficult for you to kind of come out of it yourself, little tiny things like that really help you along. And my kids, my kids are a huge part of helping me through things, even if they don't mean to, just being in my life and being completely crazy as they are, it brings a smile on my face and it's very hard to be miserable. In fact, it's, it's impossible for you to feel um, down and happy at the same time, or is it thinking good thoughts and bad thoughts at the same time? You can't, it's impossible. You have to have one or the other. So I try and concentrate on being the happier side of me. So when the anxiety and depression comes out, it is very important to try and focus on the positives. Even if they're a tiny, 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 there is bound to be positives there that you can think of. Even if it's something like a warm bed to sleep in, a roof over your head, a family member who loves you, a friend who will let you talk to them having food to eat every day, having a clean, sounds silly, but having a clean toilet to, to use, having a clean bathroom, being able to shower, the clothes you're wearing, the warm clothes you're wearing, the fact that you can snuggle or you, you, know, you have a safe home to live in, all those things are a huge part of helping think of the positive things. And that is exactly what I do every night before I go to bed. And that is exactly one of the main reasons that has helped me through this really rough time. Now, as I said, I had lots of plans for Christmas. Um, I planned to sing you a song and everything, which I am, I'm going to try and do later on in this video. So please don't ignore it because I've worked so hard on it and I couldn't do it for Christmas because, you know, 
it was not a good time. <laughs> but, you know, there were some brilliant things over Christmas. I obviously went to the Wizarding World Gold Christmas party in the Warner Brothers studio, which you guys saw, which was my last video I released a long time ago. I obviously went to the Wales Comic Con Telford Takeover. I met some incredible people, including, is it Stan? Yanislavski, sorry Stan if I got your name wrong, I'm so sorry, Stanislavski anyway, and uh, Tolga Safa, who they were both amazing. I, I met Matthew Lewis as well, which was an incredible experience. Um, I met so many people and loads of you guys who bumped into me as well who wanted photos. So that was really nice because you guys really made my day. Thank you so much. Okay, I've now sucked out all the air in this room by talking so much, but I had so much to cover. Um, so I'm going to get on with it. Right. Okay, the first thing I wanted to show you, if you are not a gold member, the Wizarding World Gold member, I think it's £59 to buy, and it's a year subscription, and you get so many benefits. You get money off the shops, you get 10% um, off the Warner Brothers Studio tickets and in the shop. You get 20% off at the Platform 9 and 3 quarters Kings Cross Station shop. You get so much, you get priority um, tickets to the Warner Brothers Studios and the Cursed Child um, all over the world, wherever the show is, that's where you, you get. You get discount on holidays in Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. You get so much, you get an incredible journal with lots of wonderful, wonderful secrets in and you scan the keys inside each month and it reveals something new for you and it's personalized to you. I actually have my name written in here so many times and it's all addressed to me, it's beautiful. So nobody else can, uh, can own this journal except me. Not only that, but you also get to collect free pins as a gold member. So this is the one that you get at platform nine and three quarters, which is going through the um, barrier at three, between three and four. So you go to the shop, you show them on your phone, on the app, that you are Wizarding World Gold member because it automatically comes up with your name and they give you a pin. And this is the one that you get at the Cursed Child's box office. You don't have to have tickets to go and get this pin. You can just go walking straight into the, bo the box office shop and they will just, um, give you the pin over the counter once you show them that you are a gold member. But that is obviously the visitor's um, entrance for the Ministry of Magic. And then my favourite, um, which I absolutely love, is the Warner Brothers Studio pin of the Great Hall Doors. Now all you have to do is go to the information section, show them that you're a gold member on your phone, and they will give you this pin. We all got given one anyway when we went to the Wizarding World Gold Party, even the, member, the people that went that weren't members who were guests. Janice was not a member. Um, she, I think she is now, I think she got talked into doing it after the party uh, and she got a pin as well. So we were incredibly lucky. So something I had leading up to Christmas, as you have seen through my previous videos last year, I did loads of coverage of the advent calendars that had been released for Harry Potter. Now there were so many advent calendars. My favorite one was the Boots advent calendar, which had so many beautiful items dedicated to house pride, um, which I did say it would be brilliant if they actually did a house pride calendar for each house. It doesn't matter what the company would be, um, but I just think that would be a brilliant idea to have just a Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, Slytherin and Hufflepuff separate calendars. I think that'd be a great idea and very sought after. Now I also had, now this was a present from my husband, I had the jewellery advent calendar from Asta and not expecting it to be amazing, even though it was £15, I actually was incredibly impressed with the jewellery that was in the calendar. It is absolutely gorgeous. It comes in like a belt style bracelet here, but the actual jewellery is absolutely beautiful. My favourite charm is the Luna Lovegood glasses, but it is so beautiful. The quality for £15 is absolutely immense. I love it. Oh, jewellery, 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 jewellery. I am wearing these here from Fan Corner Creations. They are the Flying Key Earrings. They are absolutely brilliant. She has an Etsy page. I will put the link down for you, but her stuff is amazing. She's also the lady that made, if you can see there, my vanishing cabinet. And I also have the vanishing cabinet earrings. Do you know what? I wear them loads. Now the next item is from the Warner Brothers Studios that I actually got my daughter to pick up because obviously she works there. You can't see it, yes you can. This quill pin, look at that. And it is a, it's the Dolores Umbridge quill that she gives to Harry to write out his lines, I must not tell lies. And this is a piece of parchment, you can just about see there, I must not tell lies in the parchment. It is two separate 
pins. That's £10. But if you've got Wizarding World Gold, that's as a pound off think of the benefits but i absolutely love that pin badge it is gorgeous i couldn't wait to get hold of it so i've had a few items from my daughter being employed by the warner brothers studio they actually have discount days where they can buy lots of things that are discounted because maybe there's a problem with them maybe there was a little nick on the box or there's something wrong with the product and they get them incredibly cheap so she has picked up for me a Hogwarts keychain with the Harry Potter bit extra there. I love that. It's really heavy. I think it's pewter. Very nice. And she also picked up the Harry Potter memory game. Now this was given to them for free, but it, I think it's brilliant. The cards are incredibly thick and there's 40 cards and it's it's the memory game. So you put them all upside down and then you turn them over. You get, you get two turns and then if they're not matching you put them back and then obviously you got to remember oh I've seen that one somewhere before so blah 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 um but this I love this I used to love this as a kid because I'm dyslexic these sort of games really kind of appeal to me because my memory with things like this when I was a kid was really good now let's get down to items that have annoyed me um so we're not showing you my Christmas presents just yet but items that have annoyed me now if you guys don't know um, the Wizarding World Gold membership releases products every now and again, like the Wizarding World Gold Party, where it's exclusive for members. They produced a Patronus Harry Potter pop vinyl, so it was a um, it was a Harry Potter stag pop vinyl, and it was exclusively available early for Wizarding World Gold members. Now I forgot about it and couldn't get it in time. They sold out incredibly quickly of the limited edition ones. I think they were twelve pound to buy. So I stupidly went and bought one on eBay. I'm guilty, I went and bought it on eBay. Now I know you can get them or they're pre-order at the moment, um, but they're not the same. They don't come with the same sticker. So I ordered one from eBay because they had it. The picture looked great, the item looked great. All the way from America, I paid an absolute fortune and it arrived completely bashed and damaged. The box is completely split all the way down here. It was open, it was crushed because the person who posted it only put it in a plastic bag. Well, I was not happy, I can tell you now, and they've had an absolute bollocking from me. So, I'm sorry, people who post things, please post them carefully because you might not care about the item, but the person receiving it does, okay? Now the item that's available does not have the pre-release exclusive sticker. It comes without it. So it has the Wizarding World symbol there, but it comes without this sticker here. This is what I wanted. That's This is the item I wanted, but I wanted it without all of the damage of the holes and everything else and the cracks from the box itself. So yeah, watch the space. Now another item I was a bit disappointed with was an item that was released by Zavi and it was, I think they advertised it back in November, uh, late October, beginning of November and it was the Dark Arts Selection which was only available for a short period of time. Now I ordered, because I didn't have any money at that point, but I managed to order the Art Prints and Pin Set. Now looking at the picture on the website, I actually thought they were much bigger than this. It arrived on New Year's Eve, the 31st of December. Um, I was very, very disappointed. It weighs nothing. It has obviously Harry Potter. It's obviously an official item. Me about my dark arts, you know my, I love my dark arts. At the moment I'm showing you the Christmas side of my room, um, but the dark arts section will be back. I haven't actually opened this yet. So let's see if I'm going to be a bit more impressed. So far, no. Okay, so we, at the moment, we have a dark mark pin badge. And a tiny envelope. This is £20. The envelope has the dark mark on it. And you can't open it without ripping it. And they're like playing cards. Right, so we have Tom Riddle's ring, Nagini, Harry, Slytherin Locket, Ravenclaw Diadem, Hufflepuff Cup, and Tom Riddle's diary. I paid 20 pound for that, not including shipping. Zavi, seriously, that is, I am not impressed with that at all. That is an incredible disappointment. I wouldn't buy it if I were you.
if it's still available, I don't know if it is. Maybe that's what they did. Maybe they preyed on people that wanted limited edition stuff or, or only available for so long. So they said, get this now, blah, blah, blah. And then they just didn't think twice about what the actual item would contain. So let's uh, think of something else that might cheer you up. Here's something, alcohol and uh, Amazon don't mix. Reason being is whenever I have a drink, which has been very rare because of my operation and everything else this year, um, coming up to Christmas, obviously, I did buy a few things and have a few drinks. Um, but when I had a drink, I ended up buying this, which is an interactive Hedwig Owl. Now, I haven't ever opened it. I'm going to open it now. <laughs> It looked really fun on the video. Features, 12 unique sounds. Hedwig's heads rotates, uh, responds to sound. So I've just read the back of it now. I'm gonna continue opening it again. The idea of this was really fun. And yes, I'm back to throwing me stuff. I better not throw that piece though. That card can go mind. Let me, oh, it's one of those, hang on. It doesn't come with batteries. <laughs> I've literally been standing here going, right, what's going on with this? Hello, hello. <laughs> Okay, I haven't turned it on, so I don't even know if the batteries are in properly. Right. Hello? 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 Oh! Hello, Hedwig. How are you, Hedwig? Are you okay? I take those a yes then. I don't know what to make of this. <laughs> I don't know what to make of it. I don't even know if you guys can hear it. So how are you, Hedwig? Are you okay? The only thing I can describe it as is a Furby. <laughs> I don't know what else to <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. I'm gonna have to put it up here so if somebody comes in the room, I'll scare the life out of them. Are you okay, Hedwig? Am I a good owner? I just stuck some um, some batteries up your bum, so I don't think I am that good. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Do not try this at home. This was £15 off Amazon. Um, I saw the video and it looked really cute, but now I've got it, I'm not sure if it's worth 15, maybe about seven or eight pound perhaps. <laughs> it's cute, I'll give it that, it is cute. And obviously it reacts to, to noise. So uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it'd be carrying my letters anytime soon though. <laughs> don't know what that noise is. Right, should we put you down somewhere? What about on there? You can look after the night best for me. Can you see that? Okay there, Hedwig. Is that okay? You comfy? Good. Right, so yeah, that was a bit of fun. I just thought, you know what, why not? They need to do like a Furby version, I think, because I didn't, I, I didn't think much of Furbies. My mum loved Furbies, why? I don't know. Um, but a Furby version of a uh, Hedwig or Forks or something would be fantastic. Right, the other problem with uh, maybe having one or two drinks um, and doing some shopping is you don't always know or understand what you've bought. Now, this is a good example because when you look at the front of this board, it shows beautiful potion bottles. Me being dyslexic, I don't tend to read things fully, especially after I've had a one or two glasses of pop. Um, and this isn't actually anything to do with potion bottles. Well, it is, but it's not. And it has nothing to do with potion bottles in the game either. So yeah, uh, this is the potions challenge game. Col uh, collect the ingredients on one potion card. Uh, so yeah, reveal hidden ingredients, choose a potion. I have no idea about it. I've never played it. I haven't even opened it. So yeah, I wasn't too sure. I think I paid about 20 pound for it. 
Now this is an item I found in game. Now my brother works in game, um, so I get a lovely family discount. <laughs> and when I saw this, I'd never seen it before. It is Funko Verse strategy game. Now I've never opened it. I've never taken these pop vinyls out, but it's a Funko Pop game with uh, Hermione, Harry, Voldemort and Bellatrix. So it's an interesting look of the game. And it looks fairly interesting too. They've got little kind of crystally bits, which is probably plastic or resin. Um, but it looks very Dungeons and Dragons-y with pop finals. Uh, so that does sound quite interesting. Exclusive Funko Pops game figures, uh, Harry, Hermione, Bellatrix, Lord Voldemort, includes two playable maps, Diagon Alley and the Room of Requirements. Um, play as a standalone game or mix with other Harry Potter Funko-verse games. So I didn't know there were more than one. But that was, it was meant to be £40. I think you can get them much cheaper now, especially in the sale. But that seems quite interesting. I'd probably give that a go. Now, speaking of the sales, this is an item that somebody pointed out to me at Boots. Um, unfortunately, it's only available in the UK, but it is a gorgeous Harry Potter chest with cosmetics inside. But look at the box with all the houses there, oh, the smell that hits you when you open it, it's gorgeous. And inside you get lots and lots of goodies, including, speaking of Hedwig, a Hedwig hand lotion bottle, a golden snitch bath fizzer, you get Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Hufflepuff and Gryffindor bath essence, you get a Luna Lovegood eye mask, I do like my eye masks, you get a gorgeous, Hogwarts makeup bag, you get a Harry Potter eye mask, a uh, Harry Potter face mask, you get a Luna Lovegood face mask, and I've seen somebody wear this and it was hilarious. A Hedwig face mask. And the last item in the box is a, a Ronald Weasley makeup brush. I'm not sure why what Ronald Weasley's wand would be a makeup brush, but it is a makeup brush, so I'm not gonna complain. Now this was 50 pound in boots. At the moment, they're currently selling for £25, but there is a rumour that they are bringing out a 70% um, off sale soon, towards the end of January, so keep an eye on these. Now, as far as I know, that is it for items that were not given to me at Christmas. So far, I have been incredibly lucky. Now, let's start with an item I had from my mother-in-law, my father-in-law. It is Harry Potter pyjamas from Tesco's. These are priced at £14 and look something like this when they are on. Now, sadly, these are size 12 to 14. I love that they think I'm a 12 to 14, but I'm not. So I'm hoping I can go and take them back and, re and get a, the, the other size up because they are really, really nice. I love these. Tesco's are always very good with their pyjamas. Now, an item I had from my great aunties, well, it's, it's my second cousin through marriage. She found this in her attic and bless her, wrapped it up anyway, knowing that I'd probably want it. So she gave it to me as a Christmas present, among other things, but this was the most, I, I was mostly excited about this. It is the Harry Potter Seen It game for Goblet of Fire. Now I have a couple of them, but I don't have this one. What I love about this, this game, I don't know about the other games, I'd have to check, is that the counters are actually metal. You've got the gold. Let's try again, shall we? <laughs> we have a golden snitch. We have the Hogwarts Express. We have another Hedwig there. And we have the sorting hat just there. Now they're metal. And I found with most games that they would produce them in plastic, which is very disappointing when you love collecting Harry Potter items. So the game is complete. There is nothing wrong with it. I don't think it's ever been played. Um, and I just thought that was such a lovely present to be given. So thank you very much. Now, unlike all the other advent calendars that I've opened or received for Christmas, they are not reusable. However, this one is. It is the Hogwarts Christmas pop-up. Now this calendar, it's expensive, it's about 25 pounds. You can probably get it now really cheap on, in the sale, so I highly recommend you do. Um, but it is so beautiful. When I first saw this advertised, I thought it would be really cheap, plasticky, or really kind of cheap cardboard, 
or just easily disposed of. It didn't seem very appealing. However, the actual book is incredibly heavy, but inside it's absolutely beautiful. Now, as long as you don't lose the pieces, you can reuse this every Christmas if you wished. Um, maybe mix it up a bit, put the decorations, because there's decorations inside and a little book. And I'm not gonna show you everything, I think it spoils it. However, I will do a little demonstration. Now, the decorations are cardboard. However, they're little dainty cardboard pieces like this. So you've got the Weasley Wizard Wee Shop. And all you do is you hang it up like that. So you can just about see that on the tree there. So in the end, this tree is covered in decorations and there is a beautiful final decoration for the top there. This is such a beautiful calendar. And as I said, because this, you can open it again and again, you can reuse this calendar every Christmas. I think it's a gorgeous, idea and the tree is stunning especially the scene there you've got all the teachers at the top there Snape uh, Dumbledore McGonagall and Hagrid you've got beautiful gold numbered lettering here for each door which you can't really see with the background and then I'll give you a sneak peek but here is a little secret compartment with a gorgeous book inside it is absolutely gorgeous I love it and they're then on uh, number 25 is your final display piece, which is the big star that goes on top. Now again, I think get it in the sale while you can because it's very expensive otherwise. Now a lovely present I had from my daughter because she's so good to me. She bought me the Nimbus 2000 floating pen absolutely love it I, I'm gonna have to use it. I haven't opened any of these yet um, as you've seen from me opening some of them but I can't wait to get to use that and have it floating on my desk another item that I was incredibly excited to get from my daughter now she sent me a picture of this months ago but I can't remember my memory is terrible um, but I ended up get being sent this and she asked me did I have it and I didn't um, and I then when I opened it I completely forgot she'd asked me about it it is a vintage Hogwarts Express train I think they were Polly Pocket um, items and it is from 2001 I think she paid about 10 pound for it it is an absolutely mint condition there is nothing wrong with it at all and what I love the most is I have a lot of the Polly Pocket play sets, including the castle, and they all fit together, which I love. I don't have many of the figures though, that's the only thing I did lose, a, I have, I have, uh, I need to find some more I think, but I have a lot of the main ones that came with the play sets. But it's so, so beautiful and you can open the compartments and everything in this and I just think it's amazing. The fact that she paid 10 pound for this in this condition, wow. Now, um, yes, Christmas was very good to me this year. Um, my husband bought me the final Lego set that I needed from the first wave that was released last, no, a year ago in, in July, if you guys remember. Um, they released the first lot of uh, Harry Potter Lego and I only had one more set to get and I had the complete set. And it was the Great Hall Lego set. Oh my god, when I opened this I was like, <laughs> I was so excited uh, because I've got all of them. I've got all of them including the giant castle uh, which I was the first person in Wales to buy it. I, mean, I was really really amazed at that um, but it was it was just so incredible to finally get the last piece and you get some amazing people with it as well. You get a, a, a the correct scale Hagrid for the Lego set, you get nearly Hegler's Nick, you get um, Professor Quirrell, you get uh, Minerva McGonagall, you get Professor uh, D D Professor Dumbledore, I can't speak now, you get Draco Malfoy, Susan Bones, um, you get Hermione Granger, you get Harry Potter and Ronald Weasley, you get a gorgeous boat, you get Hagrid's umbrella and his lamp, you get the basilisk, you get forks, it's just amazing. Um, and is there, does it show anything? Oh, you get, the mirror of error said um so yeah when i make this i'm gonna do like a hopefully like a speeded up version so you will see me make it um because i did that with the castle but i did that live it took 72 no 72 sorry 27 hours to make the castle um but this is just brilliant 
and it is, I just can't wait to open it. I can't wait to get started. Just gotta figure out where it's gonna go. I have no idea. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? So anyway, with this Christmas idea, I want to do a song for you guys. So I'm gonna sing it now. I just hope that you like it. Um, it is a Christmas song, but it's something that I wanted to sing to you back then. So it's gonna be a cappella. There's no music in the background. It's just me. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir and folks dressed up like Eskimos. Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe. Helps to make the season bright. Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight. They know that Santa's on his way. He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. And every mother's child is gonna spy to see if reindeer really know how to fly. So I'm offering this simple phrase. To kids from one to ninety-two. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. Don't forget to enter the competition listed below where you could win two tickets to the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London. Oh my life, yes you could. Competition is open until the 31st of January. It is open worldwide and it is completely free to enter. So make sure that you enter that competition before it's too late. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I love you all and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, invite your friends and also like this video and let me know down below in the comment section, what did you think of this video? What would you like me to cover? Until then, thank you so much. Take care. I love you all and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye.